Shalom, back with part three, all right, the contention of vocab. Let's continue here, all right? So I just finished giving you the definition of understanding, which means to discern, all right, to perceive, to have insight, all right? So if any man have an ear, let him hear. That's what that's talking about. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Is there some misunderstanding there? Who led the Israelites into captivity? Okay? It'll tell you right there how the Lord said he would send what enemies they would be coming. They would come under the flag of the eagle. All right? The Edomites. That's their symbolism throughout their history. All right? You understand? When Columbus came here in 1492, he's an Edomite. Okay? He's an Edomite. Okay? The people that rule, that sit in the policy are Edomites. This is all in the scriptures. Okay? When they come first into power, calling themselves the Greeks, morphing into the fourth piece, the Roman Empire, all right, calling themselves Europeans, here calling themselves Americans. They're neither. They're Edomites. That's who they are. All of Europe was all Japheth. Okay, they call themselves after the land that they conquered. What is that? Psalms 49, 11. Go read it. All right? So again, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right? You reap what you sow. Galatians 6 and 17, right? You reap what you sow. Okay? You reap what you sow. What else does this uh, bring to uh, attention to? Yeah, uh, Exodus 21, 16. If a man stealeth a man, or if he be found in his hand as in possession, he shall surely be put to death. Is that not what is taking place here in the Americas? Americas not founded on Christian principles. I mean, that's the label that they've given you. Americas founded on genocide on the stealing of lands, the removal of landmarks. It tells you in the scriptures, thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark. But they're going to call themselves Christians? You mean to tell me that, you know, the house thief that cometh but to steal, kill, destroy, to rape, rob, commit murderous genocide? That the Lord is telling you who they are, but yet they're going to call themselves Christians and you're going to believe him over what the scriptures say, over what the doctrine says. You have to have your head examined. All right? <clears throat> what else? Jeremiah 30, 16. All right? Jeremiah 30, 16. And listen, we're not going to hit all of them, all right? But it's to show you. Okay? They have no answers for these. Therefore, all they that devour thee. What does it mean to be devoured? To be consumed. To be destroyed. That's what they did to the Israelites. Okay? With that enmity. Okay? That perpetual hatred toward the Israelites. All right? Go look that word up. Enmity. Go Google that. Click on the nouns. Go see what it means. Very, very similar to what we read about contention. All right? Well, you saw the word enmity. All right. So therefore, all they that devoured thee, right, that consumed you, destroyed you, they shall be devoured. They shall be consumed. They shall be destroyed. And all thy adversaries, see, all thy adversaries, Go read the hit list, Psalms 83, and it starts with the tabernacles of Edom, the white man. And you'll see Amalek there too, the head tribe of the Edomite, the international banking families, Rothschilds, Oppenheimers, Rockefellers, etc., etc., 13 families in all. That's the head tribe of the Edomite. They want to call themselves whatever, the 1948ers, small hat, Zionists, whatever have you. All right? Every one of them, you see this? All thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Did it say one of them, a few of them? Did it say none of them? No. It says every one of them. 
The Lord only made 18 nations. So everybody outside of Israel, starting with the elect, they're all going to be in captivity, hardcore slavery. There you go, people, right in your face. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that preyed upon thee will I give thee for prey. There you go. What's the problem? What's the problem? You reap what you sow. Isaiah 14 and 2. All right? All right? And I'll start at 1. For the Lord will have mercy upon Jacob. See that? Upon Israel. He's not going to destroy all of Israel because a remnant will return unto him. That one third. All right? As we read in Isaiah, the 10th chapter, verse 20 to 22. All right? So I will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, right? Israel, right? Jerusalem, Palestine. And the strangers shall join them. The strangers are the Israelite foreigners, okay? And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob, all right? And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Yahweh for servants and handmaids. Who shall we possess as servants and handmaids? in our land of Israel, going back home. Who who are we going to possess? All right? A servant to them. Let's find out. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Who has been oppressing the Israelites for the past 530 years here in the Americas? The Edomites, have they not? You have your answer, people. All right? It's not rocket science, is it? It's very simple. Let's go to uh, Second Ezra's all right, 8 and 50, give me a minute. All right, this is Second Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done, right, to them. To who? To the Edomites, plus the other 16 heathen nations. That in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Right? And the scriptures speak about that all over the scriptures about Esau's great pride, like in Obadiah, which is just one chapter, right? Verse 3 and 4, right? The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. And he says, who shall bring me down to the ground? All right? And it's the Lord that says he shall bring him down. Okay? All right? All right. Uh, and there are many other precepts you can go to, people. All right, it's all over the scriptures about Esau's pride. All right, but for time's sake, we're not going to do that. Let's jump to uh, Psalms 73. Give me a minute. All right, this is Psalm 73. I'll uh, read from 17 to 19. Until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High. What is the sanctuary of the Most High? These scriptures. We dwelling in the courts of the Most High. Okay. Uh, and that's pursuant to what? Psalms uh, 65 and 4. Okay? All right? And there are other precepts you can go to as well. So, until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High, right, which are these scriptures, this truth, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, all right? These uh, rivers of living waters, all right? Uh, these garments, okay? Then, Understood I their end. Who's end? Esau's end. All right, the wicked. All right, the enemy. All right, our oppressors. Surely thou didst set them in a slippery place. Yeah, the Lord set him up on high. All right, he's the high tree. We're the low tree. Okay? And why did the Lord do that? So that his fall would be great. All right? So his fall would be great. All right? In taking him out of power. All right? Thou casted them down into destruction. You see that? That's what's, that's what's awaiting him. It's the talking. That's prophecy. It cannot be undone. They cannot stop destruction that's coming unto America by Babylon the Great. And to their uh, Great Reset, their NWO, okay? They can't upset the prophecies. They're not in charge. Most high is. All right? Verse 19. How are they brought to desolation? 
Listen, this stuff is all over the scriptures. They're destruction. Whether you're reading, you know, Isaiah, the 13th chapter, all right? Uh, whether you're reading uh, Isaiah, the 14th chapter, whether you're reading Isaiah, uh, the 34th chapter, Isaiah, the 47th chapter, Isaiah, the 63rd chapter, Joel, the second chapter, the third chapter, whether you're reading Jeremiah 49, 50, 51, all right? Revelations, all right, the 18th chapter, okay? Whether you're reading, you know, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Apocrypha, 2nd Ezra, the 15th, 16th chapters, the 13th chapter. It's all over the place, people, all right? All right, so how are they brought to desolation? As in a moment. Are they utterly consumed with terrors? And who are they going to meet? They're going to meet the king of terrors, right? They're going to meet the king of terrors. Give me a minute. All right, this is Job 18 to 14. His confidence shall be rooted out. Whose confidence? Esau, Edom, the wicked, right? The white man. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, right? And it shall bring him unto who? The king of terrors, right? And don't we read in Isaiah? 47 and 3, he will not meet thee as a man. Why? Because Yahweh Shai, right? You know, uh, the lion, you know, uh, who has left his thicket, right? You know, the uh, known as the uh, destroyer of the Gentiles, okay? He's coming back as an angelic force, an angelic power. That's right. Okay? See that? All right. Let's see what else. Uh, you know what? Let's see here. Let's go to Job. Uh, where are we here? Let's go to Job 27:14. All right. If his children be multiplied, right? And remember that your children come after you, right? It is for the sword, you see? And his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. You see that? You see what, uh, what's, what, what's awaiting Esau? All right? You see what's awaiting him? If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. All right? And what do we mean by that? Well, okay, uh, I'll tell you that when we come back. We'll lend us in part four. We'll close it out there. All right? So uh, we'll be right back with uh, part four. Shalom.